Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Team Yellow Call. I just wanted to give a big welcome to our guest speakers. Um, these two people, Nick and Chris, Nikki and Chris Cotton, are their accolades are huge. They have their hundred plus clubbers. Um, they are incredible parents. Um, they they understand what life is meant to be about really embracing it. Um, including the people, but also the things that they do. They really live life to the fullest on really great terms. Um, and when they first came into the business, it was a little bit different for them, but I'm gonna let them share their own journey. Personally, for me, these are two of my most favorite people. Um, their heart has, um, it might make me cry. Um, their heart is so huge and they're the true examples of servant leaders. Um, it is their sidelines, yet they've always been there to help me. Um, and the way that our company is, they serve on a large level and their business is continuing to grow because of that. They, um, they do the do, they set the, they do the example and they show their team, they run with them, they don't carry them. Um, but they really are very into attraction because once you get to know them, there's nothing but you want to be around them. So I'd really like to just, um, let Nikki and Chris take it away and, um, just share your amazing golden nuggets that you always do every time. So... Thank you so much, and um, I'm just gonna let you go. Is that good? <laughs> yeah, that's great. We appreciate it, Mano. Um, I think, you know, it's certainly an honor to, to be asked to, to be on a, a call with Lauren's team and with all of you here. And so, um, yeah, we're, we're excited to share. We, after 29 years, new stuff is still coming up. So we're having a ball. But Nikki, you wanna start our story? Yeah, so we started this, <clears throat> business um, almost 30 years ago and at the time that we began we were emotionally bankrupt we were physically bankrupt we were financially bankrupt we were mentally bankrupt we were certainly spiritually bankrupt there was not much going on for us and it was a really difficult time we had a construction company that we started because we wanted to own our own business because we love the idea of owning our own time and it didn't work out that way. Flash forward 10 years, and um, we were working along 12, 14 hours, Chris 16 hours a day sometimes. And the idea was when we had kids, we would be the parents that would go to everything and be able to celebrate their events. And we were going nothing and celebrating no events. <laughs> and to make matters worse, we were about a quarter of a million dollars in debt with a lien against our house. Yeah, not knowing exactly what our next turn might be, in our early 40s with two little kids. So I say it lightly now, but I can, you can trust that at the time, it was frightening, it, um, it felt um, insurmountable is the word I would use, it felt insurmountable. And Chris came home with this absolutely ridiculous idea that we would be doing some kind of a network marketing company and I told him he was crazy, but what happened was, I saw somebody um, at a meeting who, wasn't like crazy attractive, wasn't wearing great clothes. It was just an average looking person who was making $2,000 a month. Just a regular person making a few grand a month. And I thought, boy, if she could do that, imagine what we could do together. But I still had the idea we would put our resumes out and look for a real job. So the, really the end of the story is almost 30 years later, we never got that real job. <laughs> This has been our unreal job for the last almost 30 years, and I wouldn't trade any part of it for any kind of real job in the real world. <laughs> so I just want to add, uh, <clears throat> for me, I've been an athlete all my life, uh, make it happen kind of person, do whatever it takes, and I did not see that bankruptcy coming. And so the girls were four and one, and we're losing the house. And um, it still makes me emotional to think about it because I grew up with a mother that was one of the most, uh, she was one of those people that's positive ad nauseum, right? And just recently I've been sharing one little more section about that, about my mom. My mom did not have an easy life. She had a good life, but she had lots of setbacks. You know, her mother committed suicide. She lost her second child, um, pretty much kind of her fault. You know, she remembers falling asleep on the couch and, the, and hearing the screen door shut as the baby crawled out and then uh, end up um, falling into a river. So she had some, some big things, but she was just 
super positive, always saw the beauty in everything. And I, I think I got this kind of in the middle of, a, of the night the other night, and I know it came directly from my mom. It said, um, the, um, the world is consistently beautiful and beautifully consistent. And so um, I just wanted to share that. Um, but because it was such a surprise, I did not expect the bankruptcy. It really shook me. And of course, I couldn't reveal how nervous I was. I couldn't reveal that I was losing my confidence because Nikki was already freaking out to the max, right? And so, you know, I just had to keep a um, stiff upper lip and, and, you know, take things head on. I did, we found this company. I did my due diligence. And um, I, five weekends in a row, I quit working on Fridays and I went and visited around the West. I drove as far from Reno, Nevada, where we lived. I drove to Portland. I drove to the Bay Area, drove to LA, I drove to Phoenix, Arizona, and then back to the Bay Area five weekends in a row. And um, this is in 1989, 1990, 1990 actually. And there was a lot of people making a lot of money, but that's not what got me. What got me is twice in those five weeks, I met Jay Martin, our president and founder, as you all know. And I knew there was something, uh, a visionary of, for him, and that he was a man of high integrity. At that time, I didn't even know how big a heart he had. But I, I told Nikki, we're going to put our marbles in this basket. And so in January of 91, we went to work. Uh, and in 90 days, we put some things in place that are still paying us today. And the last thing I want to say is what was fascinating to me, we kind of got the finance and the money ro ro rolling. But that's, that came before I got my confidence back. I was really, really shaken, shooken, maybe. Shaken. Yeah, shaken. Okay. And so, um, but you know, this is a personal development program, cleverly disguised as a business. So, um, you know, picking up the leadership skills, and I, I'll share this. After 29 years, we're still picking up leadership skills. And that's what really kind of excites me today is that there's still so much growth for us to have personally so much growth that we can share and what a great vehicle to share and a great audience really to um, help as many other people, you know, change their lives um, to inspire healthy living around the world and inspire healthy giving around the world. And um, uh, one of the things I'm very clear on, and this is going to be an important part of the next 20 minutes is that I know why I'm on the planet and, um, and I'm, I'm doing it. I'm expressing my purpose. And I know I didn't come down here to be a juice plus salesperson, but I did come down here to share a positive message. And um, actually I'm, I'm going to go into that a little bit more in a second, but um, two Chris, things. I'm yeah. so sorry. Can I ask one question? You know, you have incredible, you, like what you say when you first meet somebody, you have incredible verbiage. Can you, do you mind each of you share your quick, you know, I call it the bikini picture, the little elevator thing. People say, what do you do? Would you guys just share that as you segue into this next thing? Because I, to me, it's something I've actually recorded you do because I think it's magical what both of you share. So can you do okay. that? You want to go ahead? Okay. Well, two things we want to talk about, by the way, are clarity and connection. But um, I mean, when I, when I share with people, um, most recently, I, if somebody's really seriously asking me, not just an elevator speech, but saying, hey, what, you know, what do you do? Why do you love what you do? Something like that. I say, well, I, I, I touch and share joy every day at the cellular level. And um, I uh, look for other people that can be affected in a, a positive way with that. So that's, that's kind of the, my main one. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of off the cuff kind of person, but mostly what I like to do when people are asking me what I do, I, I keep it kind of low. I said, you know, for the last 29 years, we've been having, an, 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 we've created an incredible lifestyle by sharing plant powders. Okay. And, um, and then I, I try to take it back to them. What do you do? Okay. Because I want to find out not so much, um, are they a prospect, but where, where's their, Where's their need? Where's the solution that we can create? And I'm going to talk more about that at the, at the end. But um, right now, I'm going to, Nikki's going to talk about clarity. Yeah. So I'm going to ask. I'm hoping that those of you that whose faces we can't see, you would be willing to 
turn your cameras on because I'm going to ask you guys a question, you women. And I'd love to hear and see your responses. So this is going to be a little bit of interaction. So if you're open, thanks, Kimberly. I really appreciate it. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Anybody else that's willing to um, let us see you would be really helpful. So my question is, and when you have your answer, just unmute yourself. The question is, what is it that we do as Juice Plus reps? What do we do? Anybody, just a few words. What do we do? Change lives. Okay, change lives. What else? That's what we do. What else? We Share connect healthy. people with great resources. We connect people with great resources. Okay. Share healthy living. Share healthy living. What else? Resources, healthy living. What mm -hmm. else? I feel that I, you know, when people ask what I do, it's like, you know, I'm a dream keeper. I help people manifest their, their health and their financial wealth. Okay. And I'm looking. Great. And how about you? Go on, Manon. What were you going to say? No, it's, it's, I think it's, I've become to the point where I almost get more, uh, uh, who that person is, but yeah, I mean, I would say I, I really, I, I say I'm, I'm looking for like-minded people to really lock arms with. And I don't know if you know of any you know, who'd really like to really make their dreams come true, then please send them my way. And people usually get really curious, but anyway, that's. Okay, so, so what we do though, really simplified is we help people, we guide people, we give them resources, we give them hope. MB, do you have anything that you wanna add? Okay. So um, with that said, I find this really interesting. I've now asked this question over a thousand, over people. a thousand people in groups of two and three and 400 in small groups like this. I've never, ever, 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 ever had anybody say we sell juice plus. I hate to break the news to all of you, but that is what we do. Just yeah. saying, but it's fascinating that we ask people what they do. And never does anybody say we sell Juice Plus. Why is that? Anybody, why do you think? <clears throat> Maybe because you don't want to seem like a salesman, but you want to uh, be more friendly with the patient, with the person. You know, okay. I don't want to because feel like I'm selling somebody something. I want somebody to feel like there's more of an intimate connection. Yeah, because we make connection with people. It isn't that we're just selling something. It's so much deeper than selling a product. So when it comes up, nobody, <laughs> nobody ever says that because that is eventually, you typically don't feel like you are a salesperson because you are offering so much more than just a transaction of product and an exchange of money. Second question, why do we do what we do? Anybody, why do we do it? Because it has benefited me so much. What, say that again, and I don't know your name. Great. I'm Terry. I'm Terry Bolton. Um, I do it because of the believed and then simply felt obligated and wanted other people to feel as great as I do. So you wanted to have people feel, have the same experience that you do, a really great one. That's why you do it. You want other people to have a great experience. Why else? Anybody? Income. <laughs> okay. Income. Why else? Kimberly? Uh, connections with people and a, a chance to feel like I'm contributing to others. For contribution's sake. What about you, Making Kimberly? Making a difference. I was going the contribution side of it, you know, that I'm making a difference in somebody else's lives. Okay. Cool. Anybody I, else say, I was doing it for freedom, for financial freedom and for, um, time freedom and really uh, creating what I want, you know, and putting my needs. I, I feel like I, I've served so many others and it's, it's so nice to actually be able to serve others and also serve my needs. It's almost like a balance. Mm -hmm. yeah. So whether it's because we want to create more of a lifestyle or whether we want to impact people, whether we want to empower them or we want to gift them more or that we want to be more fulfilled, that we want to have them have these incredible experiences the bottom line, I think, for why we do what we do is very simple. It's the right thing. It's just the right thing to do for everybody on both sides of the equation. Makes a lot of sense. So my third question to you, and you're going to need a pencil and paper for this one, and I'm hoping you're all going to play full out, is what are the three gifts 
that you feel you personally bring to the planet, to a conversation, to a family, to a friend, to a Juice Plus customer, to a Juice Plus anything? What do you personally bring to the picture? And I'm going to give you a little over a minute. I'll give you a minute or so just to write down. If you have more than three things, write them down, but all you need is three. We know you all have more than three, but at least write three. Okay, so who'd be willing to share the three things that you wrote down? Mo, do you have your three? Not yet. Anybody? Yeah, Kimberly. Three things that I feel like I bring to someone else. Is that yeah, three gifts that you bring? Um, mentorship, hmm. friendship. <laughs> I always praise other people, help build their confidence levels. Yeah, that's cool. Those are three great gifts, mentorship. Friendship Embrace. and acknowledging people, those are big gifts that you bring to the universe. Big gifts. Who else? Also about, um, I feel like I bring um, my leadership to people. Um, I believe I bring my commitment to believe in them before they believe in themselves. Um, I bring my heart and, um, and I also bring the purpose of really wanting to serve on a higher level and help them with that. Great, thanks Manon. So what I'm gonna um, challenge you with is before you have any conversation, whether it's about Choose Plus, whether it's greeting a friend for coffee, whether it's talking to your mom on the phone, before, <coughs> before you, but particularly related to Juice Plus, before you get on the phone, before you make that text, before you do anything, you tap into what is it that we do. Think back on those answers that you heard today, empower people, educate people, give people hope, change lives, save lives. What if you tapped into the energy of what we do on the deepest level, why we do what we do, and the gifts that you're gonna to bring to the conversation, and then make the call, then write the text. It will shift everything and your energy, and you will be bringing forth a very different kind of energy than you've brought forth before. So I wanted to really be clear about what we're up to here in the Juice Plus bubble. All right. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to cover something very quickly. Uh, Manon, I know you've seen us do this before. Just real quick, wait. So can you guys share your th question, answers to those questions, please? Would you do that? Do you mind? We don't, we don't, no, we've got eight minutes left. We okay, go, no, no, we no. okay go. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. So, um, you know, we inspire healthy living around the world. And part of that is having powerful meals. And so we, we created meals as an acronym for the things that we feel need to be in place for you all to be successful. And we're going to zip through it a little bit, but um, you'll have a recording. You can listen to it again. And so meals starts with M, right? So the word is meals, M-E-A-L-S, to make it really clear. Yeah. And M stands for mindset. And Nikki just covered a great thing for the beginning that I won't need to expand on much, which is... You know, we've all heard, maybe some of us have even said, if you haven't heard it, you will, that people will tell you, I don't want to be a salesperson. Well, that's why we did that first exercise. We are gifting so many things. In my, in my book, we're gifting health. After 26 years, it's not even debatable, right? The lives that we've changed. And the fact that, you know, uh, 2017, we did about 650 million in, uh, yeah, 650 million in sales. Uh, 2018, over seven, uh, 750 million. We're right on the verge of doing a billion a year. You're not, we're not having those kind of success by fooling people. The product works. We're changing people's health. It's a big gift. We're changing people's financial situation. Whether a little, extra $500 a month, extra 5,000. You know, you know, we have people making over $50,000 a month. I mean, wherever you want to see yourself on the scale, still a huge gift. $500 a month is, is a life changer, right? And then we bring the gift of purpose and meaning. Again, to me, that's the hidden secret. I, I think that's the one that keeps people. That's why we have the lowest attrition of anybody in the industry is because we are making a difference. And there's lots of ways to make money. 
but there's not that many ways to make money and make a difference. And that creates so much fulfillment for uh, all of us. And that's why we stay around. Okay. So um, anything you want to say about mass and no. mindset? I'm good. Okay. So mindset so important. Work on it in the morning, you know, just go through all of it. win the morning. Second is energy. Ease for energy. Everything is energy, right? That's a statement that Einstein came up with absolutely true. And what's really important in our business is to think about what energy you're bringing to any situation. And, you know, um, Brendan Burchard coaches a lot about having a transition. Let's say you're a mom at home and the kids are going crazy and you've got to get, get the chaos under control. You get it under control right before you're getting on the conference call or a connection call. And you maybe have 10 seconds, take two or three deep breaths and think about who's going to show up. Who are you going to be? In other words, what energy are you bringing to the next situation? And um, the one thing I like to share with people, this is a really important thing. You might want to write it down is whatever energy is missing in any situation, room, event, one-on-one -on -one conversation, family, Whatever energy is missing is what you're not bringing. So our team is very good about not saying to us, well, I went to the meeting and it was kind of flat. There are no flat meetings unless you let them be. Okay? You bring the energy and that'll change everything. You want to say something about energy? No, yeah, you're good. Okay. Um, that's an important lesson. A is for activity. That's where the buck stops. You can have a great mindset. You can have the right energy. You can be the most brilliant human on earth. But nobody said it better than Jim Rohn when he said that a brilliant idea without activity is stillborn. None of this works, you guys, if you don't go out and talk to people. That's the activity. You've got to connect. And that's why events are so important. You build the relationships. The events will build your business. But... You're fooling yourself if you're talking to one person a week and you want to go move forward in this business. On average, if you want to be consistent, I'm saying two people a day, five days a week, minimum 10, 10 new people. That's where it all happens. And remember this. This is my definition of residual income. You have the capacity to be paid for the rest of your life on your next conversation. Or let's talk about the difference you can make on the planet. You have the capacity to impact a thousand lives on your next conversation. But it still has to have the conversation, right? Okay. And so um, it all boils down to the activity. And then uh, L is for language. We're not going to spend a lot of time on it tonight because we don't have much time. But we, we came together as a group and we know that you, know, you might have heard Sean Myers say that you get to decide what you're going to believe and what you believe determines what you experience in life. Here's a quicker way. It's what comes out of your mouth. That's what determines what you experience in life. Your reality is created by your language. So for instance, on our team, we don't allow people to say, I'm dripping. I've been dripping on this guy for a year. Think about it. Dripping is a, a sort of torture, right? We say we're loving on people. We're shining on people, okay? We don't say we got a customer. We opened the door for a new life. We attracted somebody. So your language is everything. So pay attention. Maybe even form a group to help you. That's what we did. We catch ourselves because your language creates your reality. You've heard it said your word is your world. And then finally, the S, we have a, there's more than two, but at least two important things for S in meals is skills got to have the skills. The coolest thing we know recently is that Eric Worre put out seven skills that all we have to do is get better and better and better at them. Jim Rohn said, master a handful of skills that leads to riches. So there's our handful. How good are you, Adam? What's your weak one? Get better at it. It's cool that we only have seven skills to get good at. And it could also be for systems. But the last thing I want to say is that best, most important thing for me is it's S stands for stay. And I'm going to tell you right now, you know, you've heard the rumblings. There's some changes coming down the pike. You're going to see them in Austin. 
those of us that have been around for a while, we know that we experienced a historical moment in, in Dallas, uh, talking about what's coming in, in, uh, in Austin and then in the year 2020. We can't really share it because nothing's locked in, in stone yet. So we're not sure exactly how it's gonna come, but let me just tell you this. We already are with the best company in this industry. Thanks, yeah, thanks to Jay's heart uh, and, and corporate that really cares, and then a uh, distributor base that works together, one team, one mission. There's nothing like this in the rest of the industry, and if you don't know that, take it for the, some of us have been around for a while. So we got the best company in the industry, and we're about to improve it. The marketing plan is gonna change a little bit. It's just gonna, it's gonna get simpler. And uh, simplification is the key to acceleration. Simplification creates acceleration. This is getting gonna be better, more lucrative, and faster. So the timing, that's why we're talking about staying, the timing's never been better. And the best thing you can do with that information is load up your trucks <laughs> and bring as many people to Austin as you can, okay? The, the amount of, especially new distributors that you show up with in Austin is gonna lay out the fortune for you and your children's lives. I got so excited about it, I, I, I revisited both my daughters, say, look, you know, they haven't been totally attracted to being in our business, but I, I let them know after that meeting, they cannot afford not to be in our business. And by the way, if anybody says they can't afford to go to Austin, just remind them that's probably the biggest financial mistake they'll make this year and maybe this career. Austin is gonna be a critical time. So lo load it up and let's all get there. And uh, just two last things is, um, number one, and if you're with the Brave Leaders Program, you know this, you are enough. I have a, a saying because I have been accused of being a professional recreationologist. Uh, I do a lot of sports and, and I came up one day and I said that the key to happiness is having all the right equipment and knowing how to use it. Whether it's your snow ski or your water ski boat, or your climbing gear or your sailboat, it's about having the right equipment and knowing how to use it. But the most important thing for you to know is you all already have all the right equipment. Are you putting it to the best use? Are you bringing it? Because again, as, as Brene Brown said, you don't have to change who you are to be successful with us. You just have to be who you are. And the world needs you and your unique gifts, just as Nikki talked about. So you just be yourself, have more conversations. We'll see you in Austin and we'll ride this wave together. Okay. Oh, That's wow. Thank you so much. What incredible gifts. I just, I'm taking notes. I'm, you're just did a phenomenal job as usual and um, so many golden nuggets. And uh, thank you very, very much. Just if you have one minute, is there any questions that people want to ask for Chris and Nikki? Um, just, you know, they really are two incredible humans and, um, and if you just look up there, they're, they're just great people. And um, I feel so honored that we're all in the same community. And I want to say thank you so much. But anybody have any questions for them before we wrap this up? Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, Terry. All right. I just want to say thank you. And I'll give you guys a hug when I see you in Austin. <laughs> With thank all my new team members. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Introduce them. Amazing. I'm so excited. All right, we'll see, you. And we'll see you all in uh, Austin. Good night, everybody. Get out of the area. Come down. Come down. Come water skiing down here. <laughs> I, I want to. We should have done that yesterday.